Humankind is not the culmination of evolution. We are but one amongst millions of species that inhabit the Earth today, each of which is exquisitely adapted to its niche. We're not the most numerous species. We're not the largest. We're not the strongest or fastest. We're not the longest lived. We're not the most resilient. What, if anything, distinguishes us from the other life on this planet? Arguably, the thing that makes us unique is our complexity. But not complexity in some generic sense. Nature is rife with complexity. The thing that makes us special is the complexity of our brains. We are the heirs to an ancient legacy, starting with simple organisms that dedicated specialized cells to controlling their movements and actions. We belong to a family that contains a bewildering array of members. United by physiology that allows us to react to our environments more effectively. Adapting. Shaping our environment. Learning. Transcending the passage of time and generations. Passing on culture. To the extent that we're special, our exceptionalism is born of a relentless drive towards greater complexity in our nervous systems. Indeed, we, more than any species, extend beyond the bounds of our individual selves, forming communities, cities, civilizations, spreading across the globe and even beyond it. And the complexity of our brains is responsible for every edifice of our civilization. Every work of art, every piece of music, our institutions higher learning. All of these expressions of our humanity begun as flutters of electrical and chemical activity in a collection of neurons in our brains and bodies. Today, near the dawn of the 21st century, the exponential nature of the progress of our complex species is plainly evident, and we stand at the precipice of creating entities of comparable complexity to our own. To the extent that our fate hangs in the balance, it will be our complexity, our brains, that either save us or seal our fates. To understand that legacy and to understand this complexity is to understand who we are. And yet one of our greatest strengths is that we, amongst all the millions of species on this planet, possess the potential to understand ourselves.